So most people when they're x-raying a car will set up their generator on one side and their detector panel on the other. They're always doing side to side shots. Now the biggest reason that people do this is because there's no real way to take a golden generator and stand it up from this end and shoot down to the car. Now the problem with shooting from side to side is anytime you start getting your generator farther away from your panel, the photons start getting farther and farther apart. So you're getting less energy on your panel, you're gonna get less penetration. That's why most shots, when you do a side to side shot, you end up shooting three or four sets of 99 pulses and you still end up with a very poor image. So let's just take a look at this car based on how it's constructed and the distances you'll be shooting compared to a side to side shot or if you're doing a top down shot and which one's gonna give you less distance, increase the number of photons on your panel, increase penetration, increase your image uh, resolution. So just on this small car, if we measure from side to side, it sticks out a little bit over there on the side. It's sticking out over here. I'm looking at about five feet, five inches in distance. So if you add, you know, add to this, you're looking at about six feet that you're shooting from one side of the car to the other. Now, if you look at it and you set your generator up here and put your panel underneath, um, you're looking at a much different distance. And we're now at about three feet, five inches. So you're looking at almost over two to three feet difference uh, in distance when you're doing a scan like this. Now, the other thing you gotta take into consideration is when you're shooting side to side, there are many more layers of metal that are gonna be overlapping in your image. From the top down shot, you're looking at maybe two layers, and this is very thin metal. This is maybe one millimeter thick, so between this one and this one, I'm looking at about a total of two millimeters of metal that I'm trying to penetrate. Now on the side bodies, you can uh, see framing sections, but again, it's the distance that's killing you. Now the other thing is when you start lining items up inside the trunk of a car, all those items when you're shooting from side to side are gonna line up right next to each other just based on how they're sitting in the car. That is the worst way to try to image what is in the back of this car. So if you shoot down, you're now getting them at a straight angle, they're not all lining up, so it's gonna increase your ability to see what's going on. So this is why a top down X-ray is way better than trying to shoot side to side. So let's say they've taken the device and put it down inside here where the spare tire is. Now any, anywhere inside this well, if you're shooting from one side to the other, you could just start counting the multiple layers of metal that you're gonna try to cut through versus here. And we showed you this before up at the top part of the car, one millimeter, one millimeter. At this part, you're probably looking at two millimeters. And the same thing here at the bottom going down, you have a very thin sheet of metal, which is about one millimeter, okay? If you're shooting from this side, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, six millimeters all already. That is why these side to side shots never work and you get this big black dark area. Now think about trying to image something in this space with a side shot. It makes absolutely no sense to shoot it from that angle. So you're looking at this tire just up from the rim alone, you've doubled the amount of metal you're trying to punch through and the angle is horrible. So the way you image this is from top down. You'll get a much better result You'll be able to see plain as day what's going inside this trunk versus side to side shot. So let's say you have a suspect or suspicious package in the back seat or the front seat of the car. If the car's closed and you don't, you don't have any way to get into it, you need to x-ray that. So if you try to shoot through the door to the other side of the car, distance again is hurting you right from the start. The next thing is, is you start looking at all the multiple layers of metal, especially in doors with all the electronic components inside the doors you're just creating a very difficult x-ray problem. Where this method, shooting from the top of the car, very thin metal in the roof, maybe two millimeters max where it overlaps, same thing at the bottom, you're gonna get a much better image of trying to shoot something either in the front seat or the back seat, shooting top down through the vehicle. So let's say you have something and you wanna check the center console of the vehicle, same thing, top down. That's gonna be the best approach to try to see what's inside there. If you have something in the glove compartment, again, with this stand, I'm able to literally, with the rubber feet, place this generator anywhere on the car at any angle and adjust the angle of it, and I can shoot directly through the window and down through the bottom of the car and image what's inside of the actual glove box or the center console.
So if you want to see it to the side panels of the car, either the back sides or even the front where the engine compartment is, the engine, you're wasting your time shooting across the car trying to shoot through the engine. It's never going to happen. So your only option is to shoot an angled shot with your x-ray panel um, angled at the side, and you can shoot right through here and see what's inside this entire cavity. The same as with the front of the car, all the way around the car, that is the perfect way to image what's inside potentially these panels. So again, if you want to shoot a car door, trying to shoot side to side might be okay, but again, you're running into a lot of problems with overlapping materials, all the electronics inside the car door. A better way to do it is, again, from a top-down angle, shooting through the roof, which is very thin metal, and then having your panel at an angle down here, it'll let you see everything inside a potential car door. So in this scenario, what we've done is we've placed a pipe bomb in one of the door panels of this truck. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the technique that most people use where they shoot from one side of the vehicle to the other. So we've got our camera set up on this side, generator, and we've got our detector panel set up on the other side. So when we take the image, the question you're going to have to ask yourself once you're looking at the image is which door panel is the pipe bomb in? You don't know. You have no idea. So the only way you're going to know is by doing a top-down or an angled shot into each individual door to where you can see what you, uh, you have inside each door. So as you look at this image, you'll see it's very easy to see the pipe bomb from either way. The one that's shot from side to side is not as good of an image because you're shooting through a lot much more metal. The one that's shot from the top down is a much better image. And you can actually tell which door that pipe bomb's actually in. So again, it makes absolutely zero sense on why you would shoot from one side of the vehicle to the other. There's just so many things against doing that technique. I've x-rayed a lot of cars with golden systems and trying to use the uh, mosaic systems or the CR plates on the side. And I've never really had any success. And I always thought, well, this is the only tool I have. Until I encountered this iGen system, with the line scan uh, large detector panels, I realized there is a much better way to scan a car. So I've tested everything you can possibly imagine. I've showed you the images. This thing works. This is only a 120 kV constant potential generator. It works much better uh, than a pulse system trying to use a CR plate or a mosaic. You're gonna get way better results with a system like this than with what you've been doing in the past. And trust me, I know, I've, I've tried it.